Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. Because today's quest is Play 40 Lands, and I would like to show off a deck before one of its more important pieces inevitably gets banned, today I'm going to show you a standard Uro deck of mine. So many Brawl decks here. Uh, here it is. Standard Bug Uro. So I guess this is Uro mid-range. Uh, so the usual, we have four Uro. <laughs> This is the one mythic that I've spent more than one wild card on. I got one from a pack and spent the other three eventually. Uh, and then the rest of this is pretty much just what I happened across, uh, either from renewal packs, or renewal decks, I should say, or uh, renewal rewards, individual card rewards, stuff like that. Or, in the case of a few of these, cards that went into other decks, like you two. All right, so basically we play uh, Uro and a bunch of stuff to enable Uro, so cards that fill the graveyard, and or ramp us. Uh, so for example, and, and then we'll see a few cards like Cling to Dust. It does fill the yard a little bit, it's a card, but then between Uro, Cling to Dust, and I think something else, that gets Silver Smote Ghoul out on the field pretty quickly. So we can potentially get three ones that can let us draw a card over and over and over again. And you see the engine in the deck now. Uh, so Again, we have those, we have Cling to Dust and Uro to get them out, Heartless Act to stall for a bit, No Priest only gains us two life, but with anything else we're fine, plus it gets a creature back, uh, Drown in the Lock for more removal and main boardable counterspells, uh, Skull Prophet and Marleaf Pixie both ramp us, but this one also mills, and this one flies, so convenient. Brazen Borrower, I only have one, otherwise I'd be running more, it's just to tempo the opponent, return something to hand. And then it, it swings as a 3-1. Uh, Murderous Rider, I'm a little bit iffy on. I actually have two, but I'm only running one. I probably should have the other, but it's hard to find room. It deals with an opponent's creature or planeswalker and then creates a 2-3 lifelink. Once again, like Null Priest, it doesn't quite reach that threshold of 3 life, but it's a 2-3. Uh, it also doesn't go into the yard for Uro when it dies, so I do have to be careful for that, careful blah, 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 for that as well. It would probably be another Scoot Swarm, uh, but I only have one, and I haven't spent the wild card on this. I might at some point, this thing is silly, this thing is kind of busted, but it's okay, it's fine. Uh, our Uros, two Mythos. One of the joys of running Bug is that we get to run Mythos of Brokos, uh, which means we get to run Brokos. <laughs> uh, but Mythos lets us put, uh, say, like an Uro into our yard, and we get two cards, two permanents out of our graveyard. Uh, this means that basically whatever we need for the situation we can go get. So one reason to run Murderous Rider is unlike Heartless Act or Drown, it's a permanent so I can go and retrieve it and then get a removal spell effectively. Uh, I can also put Brokos into our graveyard, I can put Pol Polucranos into our graveyard and just have that recursive threat over and over again. Uh, a 12-12 that can fight stuff. Now granted it loses its counters, but you can just keep doing it again and again and again. Uh, Elder Gargaroth, I uh, opened, I think one of these was an individual card reward, the other was from a pack, so it's pretty good. I'd like to say it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, this thing single-handedly wins the game for, oh, also look, you gain three life. Huh, that works out. Uh, Brokos is just something, it's a inevitability engine, I guess. We can, as long as we have a creature, regardless of what that creature is, even if it's something small like a Skull Prophet or a Pixie, we can still make it into a 6-6 with Trample. And even when it's like on an Uro, at least it gives it Trample, so they can't just chump block it for a while. Uh, lastly, we have uh, Garuk, Cursed Huntsman, just as our one Planeswalker. Uh, because we have the ability to gain so much mana, we can get there fairly quickly, and it helps us with the ramp plan of the of the deck, or the aggro plan of the deck. When it gets the emblem off, uh, then you just feel like you've won. It's one of those, you don't technically win the game, but usually you win the game when the emblem goes off. Uh, Planeswalkers. Seagate Restoration and Turn Timber Symbiosis, uh, both of these just give me extra lands that can have another option on them. I can draw a bunch of cards, or I can look at the top seven and get a creature, and the fact that it gives a CMC 3 or less creature the plus one plus one counters actually can kind of matter because, again, some of our creatures, our ramp creatures, are itty bitty teeny tiny, and I would like a 5-5 five, five flyer. That seems okay. Um, now, as for the lands, I'm quickly counting them, it says 24. It's actually 26 because of these. 
So 26 lands seems like it's all right. Um, it's the the four triumphs. This is the only, as of right now, the only triumph I have is four uh, of four of Fable Passage. Get the temples of my most important colors. I would run another temple here, but I don't have it. So it's Jungle Hollow, three Temple of Deceit, and then two of each basic land for Fable Passage. And with that, we're going to jump in. Now, I've, I had disconnection issues coming into this, so unfortunately I'm just going to be playing not ranked, but casually, because as you've seen, if you've been watching my MTG Arena videos for some time, unfortunately, <clears throat> uh, if you disconnect uh, in a ranked game, then it's a loss. Which is fair, that's the way it should be, but to not have to go through that, I'm just, if it's already misbehaving for me, I don't want to have to deal with that now, uh, and lose some tears. So we'll just try it out. Bug Uro. Right. Now, ooh, that was quick. Uh, today's coffee is blueberry coffee. Crack and hold, okay. Hmm. Okay. It's everything I need, so we'll keep it. Uh, turn one, Trium, uh, turn two, Temple, and then turn three, Swamp. And we can go from there. Alright. Give them the hello. I still occasionally see people say, nice, hello. Misremembering where that was. I guess people that are getting back on. I open the window for five minutes. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, we're good. Let's see. Uro, hi! Let's get this party started. And I see a mountain on the other side, so Uro's life gain might be kind of handy. Alright, Valiant Rescuer. Uh-oh. I think that I need to kill this thing quickly. Before it gets out of hand. Unfortunately, I, I think that's probably the right thing to do. Hmm, okay. There it goes. I do worry about the cycling deck's inevitability. They can do this for a while. That's not ideal. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's that time of year where um, we just have a lot of them coming in, joining the party. Okay. So, draw a card. And I could have fetched first for deck thinning. Uh, Scoot Swarm. No, that's that's fine. We'll keep it. Hmm. And then I'll save. We'll use the temple, keep it on top. This will be a fun next turn. Because we can play Scoot, and then Fable Passage. Crack the Fable Passage, and we will have quite a few <laughs> Scoot Swarms. So this is going to be a fun next turn. Again, I, I wish I had more of these, but unfortunately I do not. Now, I understand that this is basically a meta deck, not the, the way I run it, but Uro plus Scoot plus Ghoul, I think, plus Gargaroth is kind of just a meta deck. I, I can't help it. I think it's, I think it's fun. I cannot help, I cannot help myself. One makes a copy of itself. Ta-da! <laughs> As Evangeline would say, ta-da! Cute little thing that she is. Uh, the deck, now let's actually look at what we have here. We have uh, green, green, blue. Okay, so we, I would like to get an island. Alright, so now we have even more. Mwahahahaha. Hmm, okay. Yeah, we, we play out the ghoul here. I believe. We only have two cards, and one of those is Uro, so we're not going to be able to get that anytime too soon. Maybe I do Rider instead? No, I, th I think we get ghoul out. We just go aggro here. Hmm, okay. 
I say, hmm, as if there's much that my opponent can do. Zenith Flare is something I need to worry about, though. Eventually they can get there. Look at how quickly they're going through their deck, after all. Okay. And they kept both their colors open in case they found another one, I guess. Uh-oh. Please don't have a... They had a land. All right. So they wait till... Yep, next turn. Hmm. Yeah, we can cycle. Or we can do this. Hello? Cycle would uh, help out Uro, but we get to have even more of those little bugs. <laughs> buggers. Even more. Because that's what we needed. Uh huh. Alright. I am kind of tempted to just attack with the team. Yeah, okay, that's right. Hmm. Yeah, they're going to cycle and trade with one of mine, unfortunately. I think that's okay, though, because we can actually do something with this if it goes to the graveyard. Do it. Do it. Okay. Gain a life. Alright. Now, from here, I will have be one mana shy, unless I draw into a land. Well, it doesn't matter, I played a Triumph this turn, so we'll actually just make the trade. Okay. Hello! Now this lets me get two permanent cards for my graveyard to my hand, which means I can put a land into my graveyard, like, say, Fable Passage and just keep doing it again and again and again. Guess what I'm going to do next turn? All right. Now what's their count at this point? It's not there yet, but it's getting, it's getting scarily close. Maybe I should have started attacking with Scoot Swarms, although it's paying off here. Okay, they're doing one early. Oh, maybe they have another one coming up. Yeah, the mode here for Gargaroth probably has to be gain three life to put myself out of range. Well, there's Uro. So we can go Uro and Mythos, actually. Actually, probably... Okay, I'll stop that. I like Seth. Alright. So our graveyard currently consists of Fabled Passage, Uro... Okay, cool. So I'm going to put in, yeah, Brokos goes in, and then take out Fable Passage. I could do Fable Passage Uro. Hmm. Yay! Whee! Look at all those beautiful counters. We're going to break uh, Arena pretty soon. I have a funny feeling that's what's about to happen. Alright, let's get a forest. <laughs> I love the powers too. Alright. Uh, you know what? Let's actually attack first, because we can draw with Gargaroth. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, let's gain three life. Try to put myself as far as I can outside of Zenith Flare range. Okay. If at all possible. They actually can kill the Gargaroth here. I wouldn't blame them if they do, but... Jeez, that's a lot of damage. Nope, they're not. Okay. Well, this is fun. Bang. Alright. Please be enough. Please be enough. Ooh. <laughs> Ready? Wait for it. Whee! <laughs> 
Well, we're not on Powers of Two anymore, unfortunately. Alright, there we go. We got that as well. We're one mana shy from being able to sack it, but I think that that's alright. Scoot Swarm is dumb. Scoot Swarm is such a dumb card. Alright, I'm at 18. Tell me they can't find one. Well, actually, if they cycle one more time, they'll, they'll be at just enough mana to be able to cast Flare. So, yeah, we should be safe this game. Should be. I have a sneaking suspicion that they can't do much about the 58 Scoot Swarms that are abounding. Oh, they... I can't remember if they've played a land yet, though. So if they find a land... Flare, okay, they had not. If they find a Flare, they're still not at it, because only 16... Alright, 13. I'm at 5. Okay, that should be game. Should be. Yeah, let's uh let's dig a little bit more first. Ooh. Ta-da! <laughs> let's let's break arena. Fifty-nine. <laughs> what a dumb card. Look at that. Look at that insanity. I love everything about that. Alright, let's get another island. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, it, gave, it said nice. Warning, please take a different action. Wait, is am I infinite? No. No, I haven't gone infinite, because I haven't added anything, anything else to the board. Oh, maybe this is to prevent it from crashing. Oh, oh. Can you tell that this is my first time going wild with Scoot Swarm against another player? I only have one, after all. So while it is cool to happen, I don't think I've ever had... We're going to be just shy of 200 of them. Uh-oh. It's really slow. Alright, now there shouldn't be anything infinite here, because I don't get to play another land. Okay, okay, kids. Don't do drugs. <laughs> okay, now we can play one out of the yard. And I swear, I'm, I'm gonna find another land, and it's going to be just as stupid as it looks. Okay. Oh, there's the original. Nice. One, two, three, four, bro. Does that, that time counts against me? Maybe. Alright. Yes. Okay. Maybe it's for my my better that I didn't find one. Maybe. Mode is draw a card. Why not? Let's see what we would have gotten. <laughs> so fifty-eight plus one set yet yeah, next. 58 plus 174, that is 2, oh, mess me up, mess me up, why don't you? Alright, that's fine. Alright, so 2, that's 232. <sighs> 232, and we almost broke the game. <laughs> okay, so that was fun. That was a little fun. I wish I had done that in Ranked, but... Actually, in Ranked, I wonder if that would be... Uh, if that would be an issue. Probably not. You, do, you just don't make as many Scoot Swarms, and then you leave some number of them behind. Attack with all but, and then you leave... 10, so that you can quickly make 20. Unable to get collection. Are you kidding me? Well, it says I still have internet. On, on here, anyway. 
it says I still have internet. Unable to get inventory. Okay. What is happening? Uh, again, it's at least on my computer, it's saying that I'm okay. Uh oh. I feel like I'm in timeout for that. Magic Arena is putting me in timeout for Scoot Swarm silliness. <laughs> I love this game. I love this silly, silly game. That's a, you saw, that was a one of. And yet. Okay. Well, it still says my internet's up, and it's still saying, wing, saying waiting for the server. I have to say the whole word. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna kill this real quick. Boop. All right, and then give it a second, and start it up again. Here's to it. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. Watch it not count that as a win. Mr. Krabs. Turn into Mr. Krabs for a sec. Oh. Still just a black screen. Well, that gives me time to do some stretches or something, at least. While I'm waiting on it. Oh. As my head gets cut off. That shows you how much I... I have to slap through of this. <sighs> okay, buddy. What's going on? What's going on? Arena? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Knock on wood. Let's try it in Task Manager. Let's kill it in Task Manager. <laughs> I broke it, folks. I, I broke Arena. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. If I have to do a cut and then come back in, I will, but I, I'm i documenting the glory that is this, this crash. All right. We go through Task Manager, make sure there are no related processes going on right now. Nothing that might be, maybe, just maybe, interfering with it. Not that I can see. <laughs> and I'm killing off some processes that have nothing to do with it, just in case, just to clear up some memory. All right. Hey, okay, we have, we're starting. We have something. Something's coming up. In the meantime, coffee. Hmm. Leave the lid closed, let it stay hot. Nice and toasty. All right, moment of truth. Okay, so it did count. Only seven lands. I guess because it doesn't count the cracking your fetch. It doesn't count that. Well, that's fair, I suppose. All right, but we, we got to win. You know what? I have a pack. After you, Because I made you all wait, Let's open a pack. Let's do something. Make up for it. So Syndicar Rising. Let's see what I get this time. Now here is Lithoforming. Um Yeah. No. I, I understand there is that sweet little combo you can do with the legendary you get extra combat steps one, but no. <laughs> it's uh it's not my playstyle. Uh this also seems Kind of weird. I guess it's just better than putting in a swamp, but otherwise, I don't know. Oh well, can't win them all. I I tend to give a little more uh, leeway to any of the ones that are also lands because I understand that you get two modes, and one of them is always going to be kind of interest. Oh, hi, Billy Madison. Kind of interesting. Hmm. 
Hmm. By the way, uh, because of the lens that we have, I am actually going to be bringing back um, Blue Belcher and Vintage. So be prepared for that, I guess. Try them. I'm going to be try Blue Belcher again. Uh, because now we don't have to worry about our only land being uh, Tolerian Academy. Agonizing Remorse. Ooh, okay. I mean, they take a row, obviously. It exiles it, so... Oh, that's so dumb. In the best possible way. Actually, let's see if we can find another land. Um, that's another land. It's not quite what I meant, but we take it. I have to run a lot of tap lands, unfortunately. More than I would like. Okay, hi, Jace. Every kind of puzzles will I be solving today? I didn't realize I had the voices up. Uh, you know what? Sure. New Planeswalkers, might as well listen to him for a bit. Newish Planeswalkers. Alright, um... Yeah. Let's just do it. They have one. Or they have two, excuse me. Oh yeah, that's right, Fable Passage. Uh, so we cannot counter this, unfortunately. Yes. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, that's the face down pile. That one wasn't too hard. Sometimes they can be. Alright. Scry 2. I have to wait to use the Heartless Act until after they scry. They know I'm going to do it, though, of course. Right. Destroy a creature with none. There we go. Alright, let's get this... Uh, actually, let me look at the way this is worded one more time. Or a card from their graveyard. Yikes. So they're going to be able to take care of Uro here regardless, unfortunately. And let's just fire Uro off now. Ooh, okay. Let's do... Mystery. Those are the more important colors, generally. I think we're good on lands for a bit. I need actual action here. Alright, so they'll do Agonizing Remorse again. Okay. No, a temple. That's right. Hmm. Okay. Thankfully, this Jace doesn't have an ult or anything. And we will be able to kill it eventually if we... No, we don't have Eliminate. That's right. We don't have Eliminate in this deck. Alright. Well, that's a problem. Yeah, and they can see my whole hand, so whatever else they're going to do, now's the time. Itchy. It's that awkward beard stage. Uh-oh. Well, well, we can hold up Drown, and we can get a creature out. Yeah, there aren't any creatures in our graveyard now. Um... Yeah, unfortunately. Well... No, this is fine. Alright, what are you going to do? Price count is five. I encounter anything that's five or lower. Ooh, okay. Yeah, unfortunately I need to let that resolve. That's... that's not ideal. Even if they didn't know about the Drown, they would still potentially worry about Silver Smote's ability. Alright, plus for... oh, no, okay. Ah, that's a good card. That's a good card to cr come across. Ah, okay. That's fine. Killing the creature that can come back is fine. I can live with that. Alright. Now, I do worry a little bit about this Garouk. They do have counter spells. Alright. Let's do this first. Alright, and then pass the turn. If I need to, I can sack it to draw, but I'd rather get rid of this Jace. Uh, but they have enough that they can actually start putting counters on the, um, on the Barons. Crawling Barons. Which is okay, I can kill it with Heartless Act. Alright. Let's see if they go for it. Alright. 
Do it. Do it. Cling to dust. Interesting. Uh, sure. I mean, there's a reason I run it, and it's not just for the three life for Ghoul. It also hates on opposing Uros. Okay. Why do you think I would do that, bud? Ooh, that's that's a hot one. That's a bang. Okay. Um, there is no way this Garuk is resolving now. I'm going to wait. Keep my options open. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, because I hit enter. That's why I did that. I did enter. I was supposed to, uh... You may have it become zero. Never mind then. It didn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh activate the ability and draw a card. I mean, they know about this drown. Yeah, not much I can do about that. I mean, I can. I can, uh, I can drown it here. Yeah, I think this is all right. Counter. Yeah, this is okay. This gives me a turn for a group to come down as well. Oh, you better not have. I was about to say, Spell Pierce wouldn't do the job anyway. Alright, and they don't have haste, so that'll do it. Alright. Yes, yes, that may resolve. Well, I feel like I've turned a corner, but I don't know it yet. I don't know for sure. I do love control magic. Look at this. Look at all this. Ooh. Again, I I thought I had. I forgot that this thing can actually take out planeswalkers. That's uh, pretty good. And it's just an uncommon. Alright. That's okay. That's okay. We can get it back. It's not that big a deal. It's not ideal, but it's not that big of a deal. How many cards? Seven. So they have enough. Get a forest. Go for this first. All right. Is it a creature? Move up to three counters. Let me choose up to. Oh, okay, because it's just counters. Good. That's right, it doesn't have to be plus one, plus one counters. Alright. Let's force them to use cling as well, I suppose. Let's get. Uro into our graveyard. I can put Garuk into my hand, or I can put Uro into my hand. If I use Garuk, he'll be able to come back. I could do both. That might be ideal. Yeah, let's do both. It was that or the Fable Passage, but no, this makes more sense. Might as well get it down. No, Jay, don't play it there. No, 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 that's fine, that's fine. The three life, three life. But now they're going to be able to eat my Uro with Cling to Dust. Okay. Yeah, I, I did make them vulnerable, but that's okay.
If I had played the Uro and then immediately cast it, it would be on the stack before Kling works, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Let's try this out first. Three. Three. Two. Two. Alright. Here goes. I don't have enough mana to go for both Uro and Garuk. So let's see what they do here. I am curious. Oh, okay. Hi, Billy Madison. I just noticed the name. Anytime I see a long pause like that, I have to check my internet to make sure it's not going out on me. Because that would be just my luck. Ooh, okay. Uh, let it resolve. Okay. Interesting. I need a better solution. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I thought so. So if I play a row and hit a land, and the land comes in untapped, then I can play Garuk as well. I'm going to go for Uro first. One, two, three, four, five. Giving up the ghoul, unfortunately. Let's see if it resolves. Alright. So far it looks okay. And Drown won't work anymore. I have no more cards in my graveyard. So, what do you have, opponent? No drowning, no negating. I can kill it. That's always a thing. Okay, there we go. Gain three life, draw a card. There is Heartless Act. Okay. Alright. Let's see what I get. Oh, now they can just cling it while the trigger's still in the stack. Okay. Hey, that works. Alright, so that means that the coast is clear for Grook if I get the chance to do it. I did not. So we will... Sack this. Draw a card. Uh, it's a Mythos, but that's not ideal. It's not for what I'm, not for what I'm trying to do. Alright. Play another ghoul. End of turn, get it back. Tapped. I'm feeling okay. They still have enough to cling again. Alright, so counter magic is up again, I'm sure. Let's start with Garuk. That way if any of my wolves die, they'll actually be able to up, oh, that's what that's what you expect. That's one down. Ooh, what are you, dude? Huh. So for all intents and purposes, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Alright. Graveyard to hand. Okay. So that shouldn't be happening anytime too terribly soon. Right there we go. Let's see. I guess... Brokos... I have a 7-7 seven seven I'm having to stare down, though. So that's always fun. Yeah, I could do Gargaroth as well, but that's, a, again, a 7-7. Seven seven. Brazen Borrower. There's no mode on here that makes it where it can't be touched. No shroud, obviously no shroud, no hexproof, nothing like that. Hmm. 
Cling to dust. Okay. Getting rid of the ghoul. That's... That's fair. I shouldn't have... No, no more creatures left. Oh boy. I've gained a ton of life over the course of this game. Good grief. Do it again. Why are you doing that now? Well, it's okay. They're just drawing a card, I guess. But if they're just trying to draw a card, don't you fetch first for deck thinning? Surely they don't need another land. Actually, no, they might. If they have not no, they don't have enough violence for that. Mystic Sanctuary is what I was thinking of. All right. Let this be the test spell. All right, it worked. You ever listen to the crickets? Can't be blocked. So I better just kill it now. Okay, draw a card. Oh, it's it's not looking too bad, folks. I don't know if I want to use that just yet. Well, maybe save the passage? No, it's fine. There's only one Scoot Swarm in the deck. I don't need to play to it. Let's do our attacks first. Brazen Barber. Okay. I don't dislike it. Okay. Well, it can't block these. Bang, bang. We will fetch first. Get an island. Alright. And then pass the turn. So here's a flyer to block their flyer. And then if I need to, I can use my Embrace and Borrower. I mean, they already know about it. So they attack Garuk. Go to blockers. Obvious block is obvious. Alright. As you do. As you do. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That still keeps them out of range, unless I have something else. Ooh, yeah, that'll kill it. So, I guess that's good game? Maybe. We'll find out. Oh no, they countered it. Okay, clever. I'll survive this. Clever. Let's see. I don't have anything with haste in my graveyard, unfortunately. Uh, let's go to combat. Alright. Let's kick it. Shouldn't matter too much. Alright, there we go. That took forever, but we won. <laughs> Even with all the clings, Uro is too strong. Uro too strong. I normally I like to play to four wins. If the video, if it's going to take this long each time, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. That was a that was a hot minute. Speaking of hot, that is still scalding. Only two. Well, we still have <laughs> twenty three more lands to go. Ah! Wake up. Wake up. That's what the coffee's for. <laughs> Neat. Hi Kai, I don't think I've played you yet. I'm getting to the point where I've seen the same people over and over and over again. Goes that one. There we are. Have another coffee waiting. Land. That's land. We take those. More coffee. Let that one cool down a bit more. Now I can start ramping. Yeah, I'll do that.
Okay, so it's the flyer's deck. That's not ideal. Not ideal at all. Uh, I'm not going to be able to block this thing anyway. It's going to be a 3-3 next turn. Okay. Wing words. Fairy Vandal. Okay. Now wing words. Nope. Not yet. No, wait, wait, wing words. Is that one that rotated? I can't remember. Alright, so unfortunately, we did not find the un an untapped land. We also don't have the second black for Murderous Rider. Oh my goodness. Alright, well let's get out of 6-6. Six, six. Unfortunately, it does get count- Oh, okay. To be fair, if it's going to be anything that gets countered, that's the one that we want countered. It can at least come back. This Gargaroth, not so much. Alright. Now I'm expecting it. Okay, so there's one. Whew. Okay. That's not looking great. This thing can be used at any time. So if at all possible, kill it with haste. Okay, now we do have a reach creature. I would very much like to get out. Alright, come on. Resolve. Lofty denial. Come on, I feel it coming. Nope. Okay. Now there's that second black we need for Ryder. Brazen Barber. That would do it. Um, no. Let's look for some more business. I think that we're good on lands for a while. No. Blue Kronos doesn't have reach. This does. So that still needs to be the priority. I can pl go Murderous Rider, play another tap land. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, this is getting silly. Yeah, maybe actually I now- oh no, it, it's too late, we lose. We lose. Wait a minute. What? If I go to six here, Uro, Murderous Rider on the Sovereign, but I lose two when I do that, that's right. So I go up three, lose two, go to four, and I still die. Never mind, okay. Well, let's try this again. It resolved. We have two blockers. Unfortunately, that's not enough. Alright, here goes. Don't play another flyer. Actually, it doesn't matter, because they have the ability of Sovereign, so they can kill the Gargaroth regardless. Or they can just bounce it again. Yeah, I was just a little too slow on those. And that was with me going first, mind you. Good game. Bang, bang. Okay. Negative five. Well, at least we got some more lands out. I guess that's cool for the quest. Alright. Maybe this coming game. Everyone take a moment, take a deep breath. To be fair, I'm less um, aggravated by games where I feel like I couldn't do anything, which sounds like the opposite of the way it should be, right? You're more aggravated when you can't help it. But if I know that it's something that could have been in my control and that I could have played better, that frustrates me a little bit. But when it's something like this, I think I'm all right. All right, so we'll keep... Try to hold up on that Fable Passage as long as possible. Okay, we're good. Uh, both because it not deck thinning means we're more likely to find lands, and because I'd like for it to come in untapped. Okay, temple, temple. Let's wait until I finish scrying before we say hello. There we go. Uh, no. Well, you know we can play a skull prophet here, and that might even be better. 
Yeah, let's go for it. It means I'm fr I'm eschewing a uh, blue mana for a bit though. It puts out a blocker for the shenanigans I'm expecting. All right. Uh oh, this is an Embercleave deck. That's not good. It's not good at all. All right. Pass. Damage to any target. Ooh, okay. You know, let's do this. Mill two. Okay. Damage goes to me, as expected. Let's see. I can eat this just to gain three life with Kling. I don't know that that's ideal yet. I think that we need to wait. I can use it to eat the Mythos, though. Alright, draw a card. Uro. There's Uro. Okay. That's fun. Let's gain some life. Okay. Uh, sure. Pass. They know what I'm getting. I'm getting an island here, of course, as you do. Ooh, hi, savior. Uh-oh. That's a savior. Attach it. Ah, uh, Great. Great. Now it has super haste. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We can make it, but... Uh... Actually, maybe I do need to fetch here. No, I need to not, because I would like to get the uh, extra land, and that's why. So now I get a forest instead. I have an island, after all. All right, Gargaroth. Maybe, maybe we can make this a thing. Okay, that's fine. This only has first strike. Uh-oh, whoa. There's, there's obviously a trick. I know that there's a trick. I still have to do it. So I get the trigger regardless. Make it beastie. Alright. What's the trick? Oh, we're just gonna use savior. Maybe? Alright. And then what? Okay. Oh, that's right. They're just gonna have it kill the Gargaroth here. I I'm okay with that trade. Especially since I have a Brazen Barter in hand. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. Gain more life, draw another card. Let's just go on the inevitability engine we have. Oh, and there's a Scoot Swarm, too. Uh, no. That's fine. We can wait. As we should. Alright, so equip, obviously. Now it's a 5-5. Five -five good times. Oh, could I not? I couldn't block it that time. Oh, and it's flying. Forgot about that. Oops. Oops. Okay. Well then, um, I guess I'm supposed to attack with Uro first. Yeah, okay, so we'll attack with Uro first. Oh! No, no, Scoot Swarm first. Oh well, it's too late. What's done is done. Didn't matter. Decline. Alright. 
Uh, sure. And then sack the selfless savior? Mmm, you know, I could bounce it here. Maybe I... Yeah, let's bounce it here. Uh, I will still have a flyer to block the charger later on, at least. Alright. Back. Now. Now we do it. Ta-da! Itchy nose is itchy. Get an island. Make some more. Break the game. <laughs> Okay, so that was obvious. Ooh! Ooh! Cowards can't block warriors. You're gonna have to make a lot of creatures cowards. Trample, though. That's a problem. Trample's a bit of a problem. Uh, is that a coward? Yeah, that's a coward. Yeah, I do want to slow them down a little bit. So, let's see. Garuk can just kill one of the creatures. And I maybe need to kill this. My life is getting awfully low, though. Alright, let's make them make the choice first. Good. More. Always more. Alright, that was expected. This, though... So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if I go with the Gargaroth here, I'll also be able to play Brazen Borrower to stall. So I think that that's probably the right thing to do. They can give their warriors trample too, though. But they can only do each once per turn. Ooh, okay. So it is flying now. And it can gain trample. Yep. That thing becomes a coward. Okay. If they give it trample, then I'm just in trouble. Cowards can't block warriors. Alright, let them attack first. Just those two. If it's just those two, then we're okay. Get, get out, dude. Alright, now we're in trouble. Can't let the I let have to let the charger through. Uh, or no, it doesn't have trample. It can gain trample though. So it, I have to be careful about this. Maybe I use two to block charger. If I kill it though, it'll deal three to me. All right. So that's expected. When it dies, okay. Let's get another creature in the yard. One. Two. I believe this might be right. So this is doesn't have trample, but I'm assuming it will get trample in just a bit. So this is 1-2 once it gains trample. Or actually, no, this one would be the one to gain trample. So 1-2-3, and then this doesn't have trample yet. Okay, so this actually doesn't look as bad as it might seem. <laughs> Not as bad as it might seem. Okay.
actually maybe could have put another Scoot Swarm ahead of the Warblade so that they maybe let me keep the Beast, but I, I think it's more impactful for me to uh, for me to keep the Scoot Swarms around. They're about my only way out of this at this point. Yeah, unfortunately they, they did kind of mess up there. I'm, I'm not one to judge when I'm not caffeinated enough. My math is not great. I guess for, for my non-American audience, my maths, my mathematics. <laughs> All right, so I still have a few more lands to go. Let's keep going. 11 more. Even with the Play All of the Lands deck, this is taking a while. Though to be fair, that's in part because not all of them are counting. The actual land plays count, not just putting a land. Ooh. Uh, I'll keep. I'll keep. But man, that, that looks kind of risky. Alright. I don't know. Uh-oh. Yeah. And that's intentional, folks. Okay. And now we pass. Let's see what they have. Dexos. Okay. I'll keep waiting. It makes me slightly... Yep, okay. Makes me slightly more likely to find an actual land I can use, say, for Uro. Alright. Still no point in revealing it just yet, since it won't come in untapped. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay. Aha! Okay. Now we'll fetch. What's done is done. That mythos is going to look a little bit awkward if we're not careful. If we don't find a black source. Alright, take two. Kakate Koi. Come at me, bro. So we found a black source. Hurrah! Alright, Uro doing its thing. Finding another Uro, which is okay. I can live with that. So if we need to, we can use Mythos to go and get... We don't have any mass board wipe. Ah, but we do need to get rid of that. Okay, then. Uh, huh. Might be okay with Mythos just to get a Fable Passage back this point. No need yet, because there is a black source right there. But that Luminoth, Luminous Broodmoth, needs to, needs to die. Pretty soon. Alright, they still have no cards in their graveyard. Oh my goodness, I'm so itchy. Good grief. Good grief, I'm itchy. Alright. Gain one life. Totally matters. Totally matters. Uh, use this just to stay alive. Just a little bit longer. Maybe I'll draw into something else. Something I could use. That's not bad. That's definitely not bad. Now I'll have options. Okay. Yeah, I didn't exactly see a night theme going on here. Yeesh. Okay. I don't have enough black mana to do Heartless Act as well. I can go Mythos, Fetch, Heartless Act, and then I die. Let's see. Assuming I kill that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't have much of a choice here. Okay. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. And the mode has to be game 3 life, if I'm not mistaken. Nope. Good game. <laughs> nope. GG, let them, let them play it out. Let them get their attacks in. Alright. I didn't feel like there was all that much that I could do about that, unfortunately. The slow start certainly didn't help. Had I, 
had I known, I could have cracked it early for Black to play the 2-1 uh, Menace, but that wouldn't have won me the game anyway, because then I wouldn't have had Green for Hero, or Gargaroth. Well, I wouldn't have necessarily drawn them anyway. Hmm. Because of the shuffle. Hmm. Let the hair come down. I like this look more, but sometimes it gets in the way a little bit. Dr. Myo Myopic. M Myopic. Now I'm doubting myself. Is that how you spell myopic? It doesn't look right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, temple first. Get the tap land in first. And it makes our most important color. Yeah, that's fine. We can we can live with that. Oh, oh it's rogues. Oh, it's rogues. Well, I did just scry it to the top, so that's fair. But rogues versus Uro. Uh, they'd better be running some cleans. Oh, oh, this is going to be so silly. And I love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. Alright, playing this one instead because it can actually block the Enforcer. Not that it mattered. Never mind. Okay, so three. Hmm. Play this into Uro, into Temple. Alright, assuming that I'm going to have to scry this thing down, well actually I guess that that's okay. Either way that'll be fine. Either way. Now we don't have the mana for Uro yet because that's a basic swamp. Alright. Itchy. My life total notwithstanding, this is a bit of a problem. Right. Let's give them quite the choice here. Brazen Bar, okay. It is a rogue. Ow. I still can't cast her Ur Ur yet. Um, I'm actually tempted to do this again. Could use another land, though. You're getting dangerously close, however. Yeah, let's play out the Gargaroth again. Yep. Okay. It's alright, we have another. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow. Ow. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. Alright. Yeah. Let's try it one last time. Now that the mode has to be gain free life. Alright. Nope, now we lose. Because now, no matter how we block, we're dead. Now, normally I really like this matchup, but uh, they just. they had me that time. The Brazen Borrowers definitely help. Having double Brazen Borrower against Gargaroth is, is pretty neat. It's pretty nifty. Ah, I had fun. I don't think I've ever said no on that. I might have accidentally, but never on purpose. Um, it does seem a little strange that the red option is the happy one. Yes, I did. And the blue option is... You know. Alright, one more. We'll play to one more win. One more land, or one more win. <laughs> Either way, I have a sneaking suspicion we'll need at least one more game. <laughs> Just maybe. Alright. Now, in all seriousness, I'd like to try to end this here. Two planks prevail. Because the nature of this deck is that it takes a while. Ah, uh, this looks okay. <laughs> hmm. So many temples, though. 
let's play the most important temple first. I mean, it's the four of for a reason. You know, that's actually all right with Uro. Let's, let's hang on to that. Maybe it should have been another land instead. Not sure. Okay. And then play Temple of Malady. Get that extra green on. Um, yeah, let's get an extra land. Okay. Fetch. Yeah, if we're going to have all these tap lands, at least I'm glad that we're on the play. Might as well have had guild gates, though. Except that they rotated, but you get the idea. They're just coming in tapped. Oh, it's rogues again. Uh-oh. ruh -ro. What's the line? Someone call an ambulance! But not for me! <laughs> Alright. Let's play this. It doesn't really matter. Either way, it's, it's, going, in the, it's going in the bin in just a sec. Uh, let's play something that can actually block, at least for a little while. And by a little while, I mean, no, it can't. Yep, okay. So now they have their three twos with Death Touch. And watch them kill it. Heartless Act. No, no, they didn't. Okay, cool. This thing cares about attacking. Let's them draw a card. If I try to kill it here, they'll just be able to deal with it. Okay, so Uro gets to do his thing, as he does, as he is wont to do. Ooh, nice. We're almost to where you need to be, Scoot. Almost there. Um... Pass. I am opening myself up to getting hit with a drown. Nope, there's a ruined crab. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll crack it here. I have to get a swamp. A bit to my chagrin. Wait a minute. Nope, nope, wait. Wait, Jay. Don't be silly, wait. Alright. I think this happens on... Yeah, combat damage. I mean, there's obviously something going on. Okay, cool. Nailed it. And they have played a land, so let that be. Let it be. Okay. On to damage. My turn. Now we kill it. Creature with no counters. That one. Yeah, we're going to let the crab live for a bit. That's going to be the death of me. Famous last words, I'm sure. But we're going to let that be the death of me. <laughs> Alright. One, two... Let's try to reduce the number of card types, actually. There's more than enough lands. Sorceries, though. Three? How many other sorceries do I have? None. Okay. So then we'll start hitting lands. Four. Five. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Those. We have a Fable Passage in. For, uh, Mythos. Itchy Tavos. Oh my goodness. Ooh. This is a weird rogues deck. I actually maybe should have hit the crab instead. It looks like the Enforcers are just there for Death Touch. I need to be careful, then. Okay. I'm going to be a little bit shy on mana, unfortunately. Yes, put that into play. Uh, down. If they can put a ghoul into the graveyard, that'd be alright. Bang. Alright. Uro goes down. As expected. I don't have the mana for it, but that's okay. Lucranos. Okay. So Plucranos will be able to kill the Ruin Crab and not have to worry about losing any counters. Ooh. Never mind. 
I, I tried. I tried, folks. 23. We're getting, we're getting awfully close, I'm afraid. Just trying to kill the, uh, the crab while I'm at it. So I probably don't have to worry too much about instants now. Ooh, too far. There's the other mythos. So now it doesn't matter, period. Alright. It's a 12-12. <laughs> Hooray! I get to cast a 12-12 every turn. Ooh. Oh, joy. I guess they get to do that, though. That's unfortunate. Ooh, okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah, they might have me here, folks. I'm sorry to say, but they might have me. Yeah, it's that's what it's looking like. I tried. I tried. Seven to go. Yep, good game. I tried. That was cool though. That was neat. The the misread meant that I didn't play optimally. Not reading their deck correctly. <laughs> meant that I didn't play correctly, unfortunately. Oh well. <laughs> that's that's part of why you do that. I have a few more. I'll save the pack for when I win one more. One more game. I haven't dropped a game in a bit, though, due to a bad connection, so I'm kind of tempted to try out Ranked again, but it dropped on me on my way to uh, loading it up, so... Uh, yeah, let's, let's maybe not. <laughs> and it did that early. No, I, I did. It did. Maybe that was a connection issue. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll keep this. It's everything I need, if not everything I want. Well, almost everything I need. A third land would be nice. Except, wait, no, we do have a third land. Hooray! So in that case, put that one in first. Pixie down. And, uh, keep it going. Alright, what's this? Uh-oh. It's almost like people don't want to get gotten by Uro. Almost. Uh, Ghoul would actually be nice. But because of the Timoret, I don't know that that's right. Hmm. Alright, I'll take two. Yeah, I guess Ghoul, probably. Yeah, let's go for it. Itchiness all over. Arrow is definitely a format-defining card. It's doing that right now. Okay, so they'll be able to eat the ghoul. And that's okay. This early in the game, it probably means that if they spend the two mana on that, then they won't be able to develop their board optimally. Do you have to work? Okay, yep. So we might have a bit of reprieve. Maybe not. Probably not. Maybe not. Definitely not. Let's see. They didn't play land. So... Hmm. If I bounce it, I don't get another play this turn, though. Let's try this. Okay. It's one. Let's wait. Obviously, I'm not going to play the Scoot Swarm after I just play the land. That's kind of a non-bow. A little bit. So, unfortunately, they did find another. What are you going to do? Cast it again? Okay. Holding up the two mana? 
Tempo. You know, actually, now might not be a bad time. I am worried about it dying, though. I'd like to get at least a little bit out of it. This is fine. I have another land I can use next turn. So play the temple. Hold up the borrower. Ooh. I already have one, but two is also pretty good. Actually, let's put it down. We're probably not going to win on Uro this game, given what I just saw. Yep, okay. It goes through. Let's see if we can jebate them here. Because if they use a card to deal with the borrower, then they'll have enough cards that I can kill the Timurit with Drown. I feel it coming. Murder Strider. Never mind. <laughs> it goes into exile instead of the grave. So it didn't work quite as planned. Not quite as planned. Alright, I guess we can start on the let's make a billion scoot swarms plan. That also seems alright. Alternatively, I could just put out a giant Brokos, and that would keep me from having to use up the Symbiosis. 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 Hmm. Yeah, let's go for it. Because even if they kill it, I'll still be able to get it out of the grave, unless they eat it. Alright, that's fine. And then next turn, if for whatever reason I need to, I can go on the Scoot Swarm Symbiosis plan. Alright. It dies, it gets eaten, I get to kill Timurit. Sacks a creature, okay. Hey. Okay. It's gone, baby, gone. Alright. You're tapped out, so... Uh, kill it. Boom. And now let's get started. Let's get this party started. Okay. So now, I think it's probably better to start out with a swarm. Whether it dies or not, my next play being a land means that I'll get a trigger at least. So even if they kill it here, I'll still get to start swarming. Yep. Okay. Sacks a creature, but makes a creature. Murderous Rider for Murderous Rider. I don't know that that's ideal. Uh, what is that, a sorcery? This should be a... it's a sorcery, yeah. Uh, I guess I can keep it around just in case. No, it's fine. Alright. And then pass it right along. Alright. That'll help protect me from yet another one of Frika's libations. Dead weight. Alright. Well, they spent two cards, though, to get rid of it, so that's that's worth it. We, two, we did a two-for-one there, folks. Alright. Yeah, lifelink. Let's let it go. Let it be. Oh! They got to... Oh, wow. That's okay. Mine are bigger than theirs. Front side. Null priest or a ghoul. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a 5-4 lifelink menace. 5-4 lifelink menace.
Uh oh, it's dead. Again. What are we going to do? We're also at five cards in the grave, so if it dies, we'll get to play Uro out. Oy, oy, oy. It feels like there's something scratching right about there. Alright. Ooh, <laughs> back to where it used to be. You know, I guess that that's fair. Oh yeah. We're blocking. I'm sure that the vessel is going to get reanimated by their own Null Priest, but I think that we're okay with that because... Da 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 One, two, three, four, five. We get to do this, this song and dance again. Alright, it's dead. It's, de it's dead on the stack. Use up your last card. Again! Dang, dude. Alright. Uh, in that case, we'll just play out Pelucranos. And I actually don't know if I want to play this. I have enough lands. Yeah, we'll, we'll cycle it instead. We'll wait. Wait and cycle. It'll help me get Uro out more quickly. And draw into something I can use. Oh my goodness. What's the first mode? Power two or less. Alright. Non-creature, non-land, you say. Alright. Start off with this. Alright. Bring it down to a 4 4. Alright. We need to hurry though, because this exiles an opponent's graveyard. Alright. Cycling. It's a land. Oh boy. Yeah, take a look. You can see his Skull Prophet. Look at your Skull Prophet. No back to me. No back to your Skull Prophet. No back to me. Sadly, it isn't me. Uh, Gargaroth mode is going to be draw a card. If I actually get to use it. Heartless Act, thankfully, won't be able to kill Pelucranos. But if they do kill it, this turn they'll be able to exile it, so that's not ideal. Not at all. All right. Whale? Whale? All right. Let's uh, do it now. We don't need another land. And this isn't a stifle format. And even if it were, they're not a color for stifle. Uh-oh. OK. Well, I'm sorry, Uro. You're about to go. Well, actually, I don't know that. Draw a card. Okay, yep, you're about to go. Sorry, buddy. Alright. Play out both of these, hold up the rider, and pass the turn. Goodbye, Jojo. Goodbye, Oro. I know we have at least, at least, no, it's definitely more than one Jojo fan on the channel. But one in particular that comes to mind. Hi, Rukulin. Hi. Alright. And we should just have it here. Draw another card. Just to lock ourselves in here. Alright, play a land. Because why not? Oh, a ghoul, because why not? And then in turn. So no matter what they have, this is the point where I would normally, like, show my opponent, like, uh, I think I've got you here. Eleven. Yes. Yeah, Drown in the Lock seems kind of okay. Counter. Good game. Yeah. 
Yeah, that'll do it. I know that the other card in hand wasn't another call, because if it were, they would have cast it last turn. Hmm. So I was I was sure of the good game there. All right, and that's that's that. But I will open another pack real quick. Why not, right? Or it could, I guess, start the next video out with it, but hopefully next video will be some Brawl games. Uh, opening that one again because I'm still trying to get all the Trilands. See what we can get. The worst ultimatum. <laughs> I think this is usually considered the wor worst ultimatum. The Uro deck I'm running now actually was an ultimatum deck, and then I decided, no wait, this is dumb. Uh, so, <laughs> never mind. Uh, other than that, this is alright. Since I'm dedicating a lot of packs to a particular set, I wonder how far along I am in Vault Progress. Shouldn't be too much further, I would imagine. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't opened the Vault yet, so... Given that I've been doing that a lot, it seems like it ought to be close, but... Who knows? Alright, take care, Magic Community. I guess I'll see you all later. Bye-bye!